If you like this video, why not subscribe? Hey everybody, welcome back. Uh, today I want to talk to you about these. These are still camera lenses that I've adapted to my uh, mirrorless camera, my Sony NEX5N. And uh, what I've done here, as you can see, is I've put silicone wristbands around the focus ring to give them a little extra grippier surface. And if you saw my last video or video I did a while back called uh, the Frugal Follow Focus, I took a focus gear and I put it on these lenses, but because the diameter of these lenses right here was so small, these are 49 millimeters in diameter, uh, the inner diameter of the focus gear couldn't grab the focus ring, so I had to create some kind of a buffer, and I did it with the silicone wristbands that I borrowed from my kids. So I had this set up uh, all the way up to a shoot I did a couple weekends back uh, on a short film called Invader. And uh, on that film, the first ass assistant camera person uh, told me that all my lenses kind of looked the same because they had similar wristbands and they're about the same size. So it was kind of a challenge sometimes to figure out which lens was which, even though the engravings on there, it's just really small. Uh, so I thought, you know, it'd be a really good idea to have a variety of colors on each lens, a different color. Uh, for each focal length, the 28, the 35, and the 50, could each have their own color, and then I could just call for the color instead of the focal length, or both, or whatever. I could even go a step further by maybe writing on the outside of the, the wristband here with a permanent marker that would make it even easier, but I opted not to because I just like the kind of clean look that it, uh, that it gives, and since the colors are only three, uh, it's, not, it's not too hard to figure out what's what. Uh, so that worked out really well, even though I haven't used this yet, but I like this idea, so I thought I'd share it with you. Another thing this does is it also creates a nice surface on a lens like this to grab, uh, because on this focus ring there is no knurled surface. There is one way in the back, but it's kind of hard to get to, especially when this is on um, your camera or on an adapter with a bunch of other stuff hanging off of it. Uh, so I put the wristband on the smooth surface and now I can adapt uh, the focus gear to this so I can use it with something like the cheap follow focus that I re reviewed a while back. Um, and it, it works really well. As you can see here, this is a knurled surface on this Minolta right here and all these Minoltas have it. This one doesn't. So it just creates a nice uh, grippy surface. Now, if you want to get really spendy, you can actually uh, get a custom version of these online from a site called Reminder Band. I thought it would be kind of cool to see how much it would cost to get like custom engraving on your wristband. So it would say the actual focal length uh, on the outside of the lens. I thought it would be really cool. But it's, they have got a great site and a great interface. But when it came down to uh, brass tacks, as they say, each of those custom bands was about $4 a piece. And these came to $0.80. Cents. I got a variety pack uh, of 10 wristbands for $8. And so I thought that was a pretty good deal and served me well. Now I have a bunch of extra wristbands, hopefully for some extra lenses when I get them in the future, so I can do this very same thing. Uh, so that's about it. If you have any ideas uh, that you might want to give me to what you could use these wristbands for, essentially they're large rubber bands in kind of the filmmaking area, please let me know in the comments below. And I'll give you all the, all the links to uh, the, these bands, where I got them, the reminder band site, and all that down uh, in the description. And if you're curious about any more of this type of stuff, come to thefrugalfilmmaker.com and we'll see you next time.